Thank you, Lars Kankorla. First of all, can I thank the regional group for bringing forward this motion on long COVID, and I'm genuinely pleased to be able to contribute to the debate, because I've been contacted by so many people who are unwell, people whose lives have been turned upside down, people who've gone from being fit and healthy to being sick and exhausted, and people who are searching for answers and wanting their life and their health back. And those people deserve to be represented, they deserve to be heard, and this motion from the regionals provides the opportunity for that. So th thank you for that. This motion calls for action on many fronts, from fully staffing long and post-COVID clinics, as already committed to by the HSE in September 2021. I think about only one third of promised whole time equivalents were in place by last month. That's just not acceptable. It also calls for the establishment of a multidisciplinary public health team incorporating patient advocates who will review and manage long COVID care within the entire population. It's crucial that the patient voice is heard. There are too many silos, too much compartmentalised thinking when it comes to treating and supporting people with long COVID. We need to prise open some closed minds when it comes to dealing with the totality of what long COVID includes. This motion also calls for the establishment of a de dedicated long COVID clinic for children and, crucially, for the recognition of long COVID as an occupational illness for all healthcare and frontline workers. I just want to read a few lines from one of the many people who have contacted me on this issue. I'm a 41-year-old nurse, wife and mother uh, of five from North County Leitrim. I contracted COVID at work in January 2021, pre-vaccines with inadequate PPE. Fast forward over 18 months later, I'm still not back at work and remain unwell. COVID has massively impacted my health. I now have ongoing shortness of breath, muscular pain, nerve pain, joint pain, fatigue, and brain fog. Pre-COVID, I worked full-time. Now I need to lie down after a trip to Little. COVID has stolen my health, career and life as I knew it from me. It's so disheartening that government has still not acknowledged COVID as an occupational illness. I got this illness because of work and I feel like the HSE and government are leaving me to rot. It's soul destroying and an awful way to treat the very ones who had no choice but to go to work with no vaccine and inadequate PPE. Now, Minister, that's the strongest case that can be made for recognising long COVID as an occupational injury for health, health care and frontline workers. Also, I just want to note that I've contacted Minister Donnelly about a long COVID clinic for the North West, located in Sligo, but so far, no progress. Minister, there are an estimated 336,000 adults affected nationally by long COVID. That number keeps increasing. We need a long COVID clinic in Sligo. And can I now use this opportunity to support Dr. Uh, Jack Lambert and his long COVID clinic in the matter. Finally, an issue raised by many other speakers, the issue of contract workers, security, cleaning staff who have not yet been paid the pandemic payment. Yesterday, Jed Nash organised a meeting and four of us spoke to that four of us spoke to, to us. And I was ashamed, Minister, that they had to come to Leinster House for what should have been paid to them long ago, because before PEP, masks, vaccination, etc., they protected those Deputy in healthcare settings, paid them and say thanks.